Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've made another video or have done an interview like this, but uh, today I've got a very special guest, Sia, from the Philippines. So I'm quite excited because, uh, uh, as some of you may know, I'm also of Filipino background and Filipino descent. So uh, this one is really dedicated to my Kababayans and as Sia is going to uh, talk about maybe in this video, uh, there are a lot of uh, cultural barriers, especially doing a diet like this or living a lifestyle where you don't eat vegetables, carbs or rice. So um, I'll stop talking now and I, I will let my good friend here, Sia, uh, yeah, tell us about yourself, uh, your health journey and why did you do this crazy carnivore diet thing? Sure. Uh, so yeah, my name is... Sia, I'm 29 years old. I'm from Philippines. <laughs> I have a daughter. She's two years old. And so I think my uh, first goal was to lose weight. It's just the, mm. the health benefits was, you know, I realized it late. It's all uh, for, for the purpose of uh, losing weight when I uh, started doing low-carb diets and all. So mm. all the changes that you see now... <laughs> was just the benefits I got from this uh, lifestyle. So, yeah. <laughs> That's but, great. Yeah, actually, I still have a lot of, you know, excess baggage here because it's not just about the weight at all because I yeah. also have this, you know, thinking that, you know, I have, I'm experiencing body dysmorphia until, uh, until uh, recently, you know, uh, mm -hmm. because in, living in the Philippines, you know, uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, when I was young, I was the biggest girl in the group, like the biggest kid. Uh, I think I was, um, I'm five foot tall. That was in uh, fifth grade, and I already weighed around 50 kilograms. I, I wow. studied uh, in a public school, so you know how it works like they weigh you, they get your height inside the classroom and everyone sees it so mm -hmm. of course the other kids will see how i how much i weigh how tall i am so they're like bullying me for weighing 50 kilograms at that time because mm -hmm. most of them are just around 40s or 30s because we're just kids you know so yeah yeah that's how uh, that's where i started like i i became conscious about how i look started there mm -hmm. like I don't want to be the biggest kid. I don't want to, you know, stand out negatively because I don't really like the attention, the negative mm -hmm. attention from other people. So, yeah, um, then it uh, that's where it started, my unhealthy eating habits. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I was that young mm -hmm. that, that I became conscious and I don't want to eat anymore. I don't want to, you know, the attention, I don't really like it. So... I started doing unhealthy diets like I eat today then I, I won't eat tomorrow for just to you know lose the guilt of eating too much mm. I won't eat like I don't even know the uh I don't even know the word fasting at that time because I'm just a, an elementary student yes yeah. it was really that severe until uh when I hit high school uh it became worse like I don't eat at all. I just eat, uh, drink water hmm. because everyone's wow. you know, looking good. For me, they're looking good. I'm my. I see myself as a fat kid still, even though I already lost a lot of weight. I joined a lot of sports, even though I don't like it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a lazy person to be honest. So <laughs> I'm just forcing myself to do things that I don't really like, and. Hmm. Honestly, I don't really like eating veggies, but since I'm here in the Philippines, they um, consider vegetables as the most nutrient-dense food. So I just thought that, oh, maybe I'll just eat a lot of vegetables and, you know, lose weight and become healthy. But no, <laughs> it became worse. So until college. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, I'm, I think I hit my limit, my height. I'm around 5'4". That's my, you know, maximum height. So I just weigh around... My lowest weight was 46 kilograms, and, and I'm still unhappy. 
because mm. I still see myself as a fat kid. Like they, oh. you know, whenever I get fat, they all call, they all call me fat. Whenever I lose weight, I don't re- I don't hear anything positive about it. Like, do they still see me as the fat kid, even though I just weigh this much? That's my uh, biggest problem. So it became worse until um, I got married, and then I got. You know, I got pregnant. Well, uh, I got really fat, of course, because of pregnancy. So I was really worried. But at the same time, I'm just, you know, happy because I already have a kid. And we're living Mm -hmm. together. But (laughs) something happened and my husband went away. So anyway, Mm -hmm. that's not (laughs) the important part. So I was alone with my daughter. It's just me and her that time. So I see myself in the mirror. I'm still fat. All the saggy skin in my stomach, my arms, my double chin, like mm-hmm. it came to the point that I told myself that oh, this is acceptable already. I'm too old for, you know, being self-conscious about myself. I don't really care anymore. But mm-hmm. uh, because of the pregnancy, I don't know if it's something that happens to everyone, but I became very sickly. Like right. all the things that I did when I was young is coming back to me. I'm very anemic. My skin's always oh, wow. full. Yes. I'll eat a little bit of sugar. Then all the hives will come out of my body and will stay there for at least five days. It's very itchy, very painful. I can sleep well. And then I'm very tired from, you know, taking care of the baby. But yeah. I just that. Hmm, this is my life now. I'll just accept it. And then I also have this condition of having a high blood pressure, which is which mm. I believe yes, which I believe that was from my father's genes because you know it's hereditary. That's that's they always say diabetes. I diabetes from my mother's side <laughs> and hypertension mm. from my mother's side. So I just accepted my faith that oh, this is normal, so whatever. So from when I was um, single, I own I own jump to sixty nine kilograms in just one year. So yeah, the stretch marks and all. Of course, being uh, you know growing up, having this body dysmorphia, thinking that I don't know what to do anymore. So I just gave up in my life. Mm. It's a bit dramatic for me because you know I just come to the point that I don't want to live anymore. Just accept this fate of oh, I'm this fat, uh, full of stretch marks woman doesn't just doing mom jobs, you know. Mm. However, um, I just want to thank a person that I met online too. He's just a friend though that he motivated me and inspired me, and then told me that. Life will always go on whatever happens. So then I started um, taking care of myself again. But I don't know where to start. So I tried mm-hmm. to find all the things that I did when I was young. But yeah. I, yes, because that's how I... Yes, it's true that I lost weight from doing unhealthy <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah, the fasting. <laughs> the fasting. <laughs> the yeah. fasting, yes. Because... I don't know anymore. It's just that really, you know, um, actually I'm questioning my life decisions when I was young. It's, I'm just yeah. laughing now, but the decisions I made are, I still feel the effects from it, like I'm still anemic. But, mm-hmm. yeah, but you know, um, it all healed uh, when I started carnivore diet. <laughs> That's all. Wow. Yes. So, um, so how how did you find the kind of diet though? How did you Okay, um a little backstory. So I started doing keto around two years ago and then I lost all the weight that I gained from my unhealthy lifestyle. So I uh, joined a lot of Facebook groups for Filipinos. Mm. So that's a yeah, good okay. guide. Uh, this time I'm not walking this journey blindly. Somehow I am guided. Yeah. But I don't really ask questions. Like I just read read a lot of post topics and articles about it 
until uh, mm-hmm. this uh, I had a minor injury or surgery, sorry, minor surgery, and I have to, you know, somehow eat soft food. So the yeah. only soft uh, food that I thought of was oatmeal. <laughs> and oh. then, it, yes, I know. So I'm doing good, but because of this uh, minor, minor, take note, minor surgery, yeah. I saw of my journey. So unfortunately, I gained all the weight back. <laughs> so from, uh, I'm sorry, just for your reference, when I started, uh, before doing keto, I was 67 kilograms. And then uh, I lost all the weight. And um, I think before the surgery, I was only 58. And mm-hmm. then during my recovery period of maybe around six months, I gained the weight, all the weight back. So it's like the wow. all, my all of the weight back. Yes, like I ballooned wow. very fast because you know I thought um, I think it's the oatmeal that triggered all my cravings back. Like oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, everything I'll, I can eat everything because I'm recovering. That's what I'm, you know, thinking that time. Like I can eat this, that, just to recover because my doctor told me to eat this, eat that until I don't care anymore. I already. You know, I already, I'm already recovered, but I still, the, all the cravings of sugar and anything, it just came back. So, yeah. And then until uh, just this September, I start, I restarted my uh, journey again. Uh, I tried going back to keto. Actually, if you will see my face or my Instagram, that my day one is just keto, not a, car, a full carnivore yeah. meal. But then, yeah, I think. I opened my account a week before I actually started my diet. So I uh, within that week I'm starting fo- I started following a lot of accounts doing low carb diets, ketogenic diets and any other um, diets that are under uh, low carb category. So and then until I stumbled to Steak and Butter Gals account, and then I read a lot, watched a lot and then I started my diet. So that's day one. I'm still doing keto, but I was really curious about steak and butter gals, uh, you know, routine because it looks mm. simple. Like you just eat beef and butter, and that's and that's it. Not, nothing yeah. more drastic. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, I don't really like eating vegetables, as mentioned a while ago. So I I follow that. I started with eggs, chicken, and then someone, uh, someone. Uh, on my day two, someone already guided me that uh, beef is better than chicken. So, oh, okay, mm. which which is better for me because I really like beef. Beef, yeah. yeah. I really like beef, whatever, it, whatever dish it is, as long as it's beef, it's fine. So, there, I started <laughs> from there. <laughs> Until now, I'm doing um, carnivore. Somehow, uh, I'm going on the street. Carnivore sometimes not, but since it's December, there's there's a lot of parties going on and on. Yeah, I know. How long has it been now since you went carnivore? Uh, exactly 70 days. <laughs> Just 70 days. 70 days. days. Wow. Just, mm-hmm. So uh, from those 70 days, uh, what changes have you seen in your health? Yes, since just like what I have mentioned a while ago, my main goal mm. is weight loss. But yeah. I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> so, oh, really? Yes, because I'm already happy with myself. I think I don't have the body dysmorphia anymore. I'm really happy with what I see in the mirror. I fit with the clothes that I really want to wear. Mm-hmm. So weight loss is not on my list anymore. And actually, I'm really surprised because... Uh, I never thought that carnivore diet or lifestyle will give me this kind of benefits that I just read in the internet. Yeah. Number one, my problem with the, my blood, because I, like what I've said a while ago, I'm very anemic because of all the unhealthy life, uh, lifestyle or diets that I did when I was young. It's now okay. Mm. It's my, actually, it's my first time having, you know, getting tested for a complete blood count and it's all normal. Like, there's no ups and downs of arrows. I, it's all norm within normal range. So I'm just really happy with that. And then, they're not. There, I never had a break 
out of highs ever since I started doing carnivore. Yes, wow. and f- yes, my sleep was is better too. Like I don't uh, wake up in the middle of the night anymore. Mm. Previously, I just you know go on with my days having a four hour sleep, and then drink a lot of coffee. Like I can finish eight cups of coffee in one day. Well, wow. carnivore somehow um, healed that. Well, I think it's just two weeks since I stopped drinking coffee, but the energy I get from coffee and just from eating meat is the same. So I discarded coffee. <laughs> I don't drink it anymore. Really? Oh, yep. well then. So, mm-hmm. so you're really 100% carnivore now. Yeah, but I cannot say because, you know, I'm still attending parties. and Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure with what the oils they use in cooking, but yeah. last party, I think it's okay because I never, you know, I do this every now and then whenever I attend parties, when I feel a bit tight, I think I ate something bad. So this time it's all okay. I have this, you know, whenever yeah. I do it after a party, I know if the food's bad or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though it's meat, sometimes they use seed oils, uh, which is really bad for the health. So, yeah, as much as oh, possible, uh, we should uh, avoid that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it must be very hard, um, especially, you know, I, I know how the Philippines is like. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not just the seed oils, but the carbohydrates. It, it's, <laughs> it's a very carb central, uh, you know, that, that's, that is the staple diet of Yes. Not just the Philippines, but Asia is, mm-hmm. you know, rice. So I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Mm-hmm. But before I talk about the cultural aspect of things, I wanted to ask, uh, what does your carnivore diet look like today? So you said you eat, uh, you ate, a, you eat a lot of beef. Um, mm-hmm. what, what, what type of meat do you eat in the Philippines? Yeah, because, you know, Philippines is a third world country and everything's very yeah. expensive. Uh, they yeah. thought that our diet is really expensive. So uh, if you ask me what type of beef I eat, well, any any type of beef, beef I eat yeah. it because they're all beef, you know, just different, yeah, yeah. different cuts. So as for me, since I'm very budgetarian, we call that mm. here, budgetarian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I just buy what... Uh, what I can within the budget. So most of the time, yes. beef. Tops. Sometimes, um, how do I call this? Because we call this uh, slice of beef, beef some gypsal. We always okay. use that Korean barbecue uh, restaurants. They always use that in Korean barbecue restaurants. So they are ava- available in uh, meat shops. Mm-hmm. Also like uh, beef shanks for soup because I really like yeah. soup. Uh, yeah, food. yeah, yeah. Depends on yeah. the mood. Yeah, most of the time, I really like a soupy uh, kind of dish whenever I have my, yeah. you know, monthly period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, every woman needs something uh, comfort food. But yeah, yeah. I really yeah. rely on cream or cakes anymore. I really like soupy uh, beef dish. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah like uh, bulalo or... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can call that, but I just use water and salt, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 veg- no gulai. <laughs> yes, no gulai. Uh, that's good. Uh, I just stopped eating anything plants since I watched Dr. Shafi's Ch- uh, video about plants. So, as much as oh. possible, yes. so as, as much as possible, I'm uh, removing plants from my diet. That's just mm. it. <laughs> Especially the the ones that we eat in the Philippines, like your okra. Oh my uh, gosh, that's very high in oxalate. <laughs> your pechay or your your bok choy. We call it bok choy here. Pechay at home. Um, mm-hmm. You know uh, your even ube. Oh my god, that that's really high in in <laughs> plant toxins. Good, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of Filipinos don't see this as, you know, toxic foods. But if you look at, you know, the, the research and the science, uh, a lot of these, you know, foods that we eat back home, oh, my God, so full, full of plant toxins. So, yeah. So how many times do you eat a day? Uh, you know, a lot of carnivores say they do twice a day, once a day, or some, some of them eat three times a day. How, how about you? 
oh, when I started doing carnivore, I eat three times a day until mm. I don't know, but my appetite I think got smaller, so I only eat one yeah. to two times a day now. Sometimes none, yeah. but I make sure to eat at least once a day. Wow, that that that's really good. Uh, must be hard for um, you know, people people around you to to see that. Uh, oh, you're only <laughs> eating once a day. <laughs> yes, they thought I'm dying or what. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about some of the challenges in our culture when it comes to diet and nutrition? Okay, I'll start with my uh, with, with my family first. Okay, so in <laughs> okay. our family, yes, because my family is like an anomaly, anomaly here in Philippines. Like we are, each one of us have different. Or let me repeat that. Uh, my family is like an anomaly here in Philippines because each of us. Uh, my family members have different kinds of diet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I start with my dad. My dad's a uh, plant-based dieter because, yes, because mm. uh, that's what he believes because he already had a uh, kidney transplant and yeah. unfortunately he's still loading up <laughs> his body with oxalates and that's what mm. his doctor yeah. told him to yeah. eat because he's healthier. So, and then my uh, next is my sister. My sister's a doctor and um, she follows, you know, Pinggang Pinoy uh, in Philipp- uh, by DOH in Philippines. So Pinggang Pinoy consists of carbs, meat, and vegetables. It's like right. the balanced diet here in the Philippines. Yeah, so, yeah. And I'm here doing carnivore. So, yeah. Wow. Just imagine the chaos here uh, yeah. in also every day whenever we eat. Um, although fortunately I don't eat very much so I don't eat with them regularly mm-hmm. so yeah when uh, although whenever we eat together of course we have different meals like they're mm. judging me because I don't eat um, vegetables sometimes I load up my food with a lot of salt because sometimes I'm still uh, since I'm still new to carnivore I still experience uh, electrolyte yeah. imbalance so I'm trying yeah. to yeah my food heavily sometimes not all the time but whenever I feel cramps I'm salting my food heavily so yeah my father told me that my kidney will be damaged soon if I don't stop eating meat <laughs> and then my sister told me that oh, your kidney will be kawawa <laughs> my kidney will work harder than normal yeah so, yeah so, yeah uh, sooner or later it will or I will get something you know maybe kidney, uh, chronic kidney disease too which is very you know maybe around two to three members of my family already had problems with their kidneys so they they're telling me that they're just worried for my health but yeah. i just recently uh got a test for everything uh chemistry and uh, hematology everything's uh normal except for my ldl so oh. that's where they're <laughs> Pointing now, like, uh, yeah. it's because of me. That's why your bad cholesterol is really high, which will soon or sooner or later um, give me hypertension, which is a mm. hereditary uh, disease in my family. So I don't know anymore. Mm. You know, it's very chaotic it, just in our house. And then um, within my workplace, because, mm. you know, so, you know, the... Uh, typical Filipino diet here, carbs and carbs. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's always carbs everywhere. Even the viands available, there are carbs in it. They always use cornstarch or flour just to, you know, for cooking. Yeah. So they're always asking me, why are you eating plain meat? Like, of course, if you already if you only cook your meat on, in salt and water, you'll get plain meat <laughs> like there's no yeah. decoration at all there's no greens in it there's nothing so some some of my workers even laughed at my you know uh, beef beef uh, ground beef with egg because it it looks weird yeah. for them but for me it's okay because i know yeah it looks weird i know but it's healthier than what you eat <laughs> so next mm. is my relatives <laughs> which is very very a, re- a little not very, but a little concerning because, you know, titas and titos of Philippines are really, <laughs> really somehow hardcore when insulting you. Yeah. 
whenever they ask me, what are you doing? Why don't you eat rice or kakanin for dessert? Why don't you eat leche flan? Why don't you drink soft drinks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just told them, uh, I'm on a diet. You're already thin. Yeah, that's what they always <laughs> You're already thin. Why don't you try this? Try that. And then he's surprised that I'm not touching any of the high carb desserts or yeah. high carb uh, uh, finger foods. I'll just stick with my chicharon because I always bring chicharon. You, um, you always bring chicharon? Yes, I always bring chicharon everywhere. Even last night during our year end party, company's year end party, I brought my own chicharon just to avoid eating high carb finger foods. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yes, at, at least good. I'm safe. Yes, I'm safe with what I eat, and you know, avoided all the unnecessary food that I'll put in my body. Yeah, you know what? Um, when I first started carnivore, it's a very similar story. Where when I started telling, uh, you know, a lot of the older Filipinos or the titos and titas uh, that I stopped eating rice, um, you know, they there were a lot of them were shocked. And and we're like that's not healthy. That's not good for you. Um, you need to eat carbs and your your gulai, your vegetables. I I and I I even said this on my Instagram. I had one of my titos tell me that uh, uh oh if you don't eat rice you're not Filipino. So mm-hmm. all of a sudden I'm I'm not Filipino anymore because yes. you know I I don't yeah. eat rice, which is crazy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, what you talked about was you know a lot of filipinos uh believe that the plants are the nutrient dense foods and so um you know i think uh, it's safe to say that filipinos eat the balanced diet you know you have your rice you have your ulam which is your can be you know usually pork or fish whatever and um you know most of the plate or most of the the ulam is you know um vegetables sorry mm-hmm. i probably should speak a little bit more english for the <laughs> for the people who are watching uh yeah it's very much a balanced diet but the thing for me is that a lot of the foods are covered in seed oils mm-hmm. you know a lot of vegetable oils and it's it's in every 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 food you can find that you know every filipino food that i can think of mm-hmm. it, it's it's covered in a lot of vegetable oil yes, um, restaurants here uses unfortunately vegetable oil unless you'll uh, specifically specify that you only you're allergic to seed oils they'll use they they won't use any other oils for uh, in cooking. Right. yeah uh, i think you know philippines is very similar to a lot of countries even you know your you know your first world countries like the US and, and Australia and the UK i think diets are still very similar although it's a third world country um there's still a lot of um similarities between between the diets i i think this this is very important to have a discussion about um especially you know with with you know our our people uh, with the filipinos uh because it, it, it's so hard, I find, personally, to break this this culture and this, you know, mindset of, you know, how, how we look at food or how Filipinos look at food. And and I'm hoping that, you know, other Filipinos will watch this this video or, or, you know, hear about it from someone and will at least, if not, you know, go on the diet, at least think about it. Mm-hmm. Um because yeah, it, it's 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 a problem. Um, yeah. But anyway, so uh, you were telling me that uh, there's a a small community of keto carnivore in the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Tell me how 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 is that going? Uh, uh, you know uh, what what's been happening in in with the Filipinos? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, that group is just uh, new, so most of the members are not into carnivore yet. But uh, yeah. I think around five to ten members that are already doing it for several years now um, wow including me I help all the newbies because they are trying to transition however since there are a lot of t- temptation here in the Philippines uh, especially during these holidays like mm. they always um, uh, fall down or whatever you call uh, how do I call this um 
it's like they are being tempted and stop doing the carnivore mm. diet just to yeah you know um in short they are really uh, easily pressured by their mm. peers and all so uh so we're just using that group as a support group for now like whenever mm. they ask um anything about carnivore basics or whatever uh what food were to buy what kind of cuts uh they should buy yeah we just mm. you know answer um there's someone there that's doing uh carnivore around five years now i think so she's really wow yes uh, uh, she's really not knowledgeable when it comes to this uh, lifestyle i also uh you know learn from her and then mm -hmm. because you know um in these times uh internet is everywhere so we should you know uh maximize uh, using it Although yeah, I'm just, yeah. just um, new to this lifestyle, I can probably say that I think I know the uh, hundred percent of it because you know carnivores, uh, carnivore lifestyle is really easy. Just meat, salt, nothing else, <laughs> just no plants. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah just it. that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing else. All the other uh, topics about it that revolves around carnivore diets about the plants, they're just extras. Just uh, if you're really confused. I mean, this message is for the new carnivore uh, people out there. This message is for you. So uh, don't worry about all the other things. Just focus on meat and salt. That's just it. If you're worried about uh, your coffee or what, your sugar, just don't think about it for now. Focus on your main meals and then uh, everything will follow. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I think people are... Uh, thinking that carnivore is really difficult because they need to know a lot when it when in fact it's just really basic. Yeah, I know yeah. there are a lot of doctors about uh, for that are carnivore, but uh, I think they can just uh, use the YouTube for uh, to yeah. watch the, their videos. But for now, if they're really confused or lost uh, in their journey, just focus on meat and salt, nothing else. Mm. If they can live with just meat and salt, then they'll survive. Yeah, yeah, and and guys, uh, you know, f uh, have a look at Sia's transformation on her Instagram. Uh, you know, uh, you can definitely tell that it, it, it's working. Uh, you look great, Sia. You look you look really well, really healthy. Um, I'm glad to see that you have overcome a lot of your issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and and I think just my opinion, but I think you are on the right track. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the best thing that you've done for your health is to stop eating carbs and stop eating plants. Mm -hmm. And I, I think you're f just, again, my opinion, you're, you're, you've done the best thing for your health. Mm -hmm. um, you. and, and, and this is not, you know, uh, Sia or even myself, we're not the only two doing this. Um, we're not unique. There are so many stories out there, so many people who have, overcome so many health issues uh, that it, it's very hard to, uh, you know, ignore that. It, it, it's very hard. I mean, when I first uh, heard about carnivore, I thought, oh, this is crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and then looking online and seeing people's, um, you know, health transformations, I thought, nah, this, it's not real. I think a lot of these people are just lying online. They just you know, uh, taking supplements or they're not really doing the carnivore diet. But once mm -hmm. you do it, like I've been doing it for two years now. Um, you know, even after the, the first three months, I thought, no, this is, this is, this is the right thing to do. This is, this is the best thing for my health. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think a lot of people really know how sick they are until they go on the diet. So, yeah, for me, it's just uh, the weight loss that I was trying to, you know, uh, get uh, through this carnivore lifestyle. But, uh, you know, losing weight isn't my priority priority anymore because I just saw my results. All the uh, uh, issues uh, are gone. So I think I'll still continue doing it even without losing weight because um, yeah, yeah, losing weight is just a, bon a bonus in this lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. You know, the main goal, my main goal now isn't about losing weight anymore. I just really want to heal. That's just yeah. it. <laughs> yes, yeah, I want to live yeah. longer. And, you know, I don't want to see myself being so old, having a lot of diseases or any mm -hmm. other 
Yeah, I don't want to be sick when I was, when I get old. I want to still yeah. be healthy. If I ever, if ever I'll die, I just want to die of uh, old age, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I just want to reiterate for people who are watching. You know, we're not here to force anything on people. Uh, unlike some dietary tribes, or we don't, we we're not, we're not. Uh, you know, we're not here to force anything onto anyone. Um, you know, it, we're here to just encourage you to look at the possibility that, hey, this might be a diet that might work for you. And, you know, I think it will. Um, have you got any final messages or anything you want to say out there to people who are, uh, you know, wanting to get started to the carnivore lifestyle or just any message that you want to tell people? To anyone who wants to start their carnivore journey, don't be scared. Just um, remember two, uh, two things, just meat and salt. That's just it. Uh, you can just uh, search about anything else later. Just focus on your uh, meat consumption and salt because that's the most important thing, nothing else. Mm. Uh, you just think that or maybe you're just you know, um, hesitating to try this uh, diet because it's expensive. But no, actually, it's almost the same because you're not going to buy any other um, ingredients anymore. You'll just buy meat. That's just it. Because some people mm. are just, you know, uh, backing out from this diet because um, it's very expensive. Beef is very expensive. No, no one told you to eat just beef. It's just my choice or other carnivores. Yeah. But you can eat meat. Or you can eat beef, you can eat chicken, fish, eggs. Yes, um, there's nothing. Uh, pork, there's, pork, yeah. You can eat pork. Not, um, mm. uh, there's no rule that you'll just eat mm. beef in carnivore diet. Yeah, because mm. it's, uh, I think, uh, one of the reasons why there are people backing out of it because they thought that uh, carnivore diet only consists of uh, eating beef. So. All right, well... Uh... Thank you so much, Sia. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for uh, just opening up about uh, your health journey. Um, so before ending it off, uh, do you just want to tell people your social media? Where can they follow you? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, people can reach me through Instagram. It's just my only uh, social media account for now. It's hmm. at carnivore.sia. You can see my progress from day one until, yeah, today. So every day I post my meals, my everyday um, daily life. So if you're okay with that, just follow me. I'll follow you back. Awesome. Well, thank you again. Thank you so much. Guys, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.